If you're out of the running for a fantasy title in your season-long leagues, there's still daily fantasy where you can be a winner. And this week, I'm stacking my Chicago Bears against San Francisco, a defense that's allowed 30 touchdown passes and only has two interceptions. That means Mitchell Trubisky at quarterback. Throwing the ball, he'll look for several receivers. I'm stacking Tariq Cohen at running back, second only to Christian McCaffrey in receiving yards by a running back. And I'm going with tight end Trey Burton as well. Tight end has been a fantasy wasteland this year, so why not look for that double points from quarterback Trubisky and tight end Burton. Elsewhere, speaking of Christian McCaffrey, with Cam Newton out for the season for the Panthers, they'll have to rely on McCaffrey even more. And they're going up against the Atlanta Falcons, who've given up the most receiving yards and the most receptions to running backs. Also, I'm paying up for Amari Cooper of the Dallas Cowboys. Tampa Bay Buccaneers have been better lately on defense, but Cooper is primed to rebound after being held to just four catches for 32 yards last week. For my value picks, I'm going with Robbie Anderson of the New York Jets. He's been clicking with Sam Darnold at quarterback, and he's going up against the Green Bay Packers, who've yielded the third most fantasy points to wide receivers. Also at wide receiver, Chris Hogan of the New England Patriots. Josh Gordon, we know, is going to miss the rest of the season. That means Hogan will get plenty of targets for a very low price. And with those value picks, I have enough left over to have as my flex Joe Mixon of the Cincinnati Bengals. He's rushed for over 100 yards and at least a touchdown in back-to-back games. And the Cleveland Browns give up the ninth most rushing yards per game. Look for another big one from Mixon.